There's nothing cringier than a weak man. I mean, men cringe at weak men. They find them disgusting. She's like, no, they need to. We need to go and change language at school and rewrite history and do all the shit they're trying to do to make men weak. Why are weak men such a problem? It's insecure. He needs to it's, feel powerful. He's yeah. a bitch. Yeah, he's a bitch. Most guys are not getting laid. Like five percent of guys, and I've been saying this for a while. Get all the. F the media wants to put out a perception that being overweight is the new goal when it's actually unhealthy. Is masculinity dead? Are men really becoming that weak? And is the decrease in testosterone the main reason? Listen, man, if you've been feeling a decline in your muscular strength, your performance in the bedroom, your inner drive and confidence, and especially your ability to lose fat, if you've lost touch with that youthful energy, that drive you used to have, watch this video because I'm gonna show you the exact science of why you feel that way. And more importantly, what you can do today to get that drive back. And don't worry, I'm not gonna tell you how to eat or how to work out or how to live your life. I'm simply here to tell you about one missing key. With the secret knowledge I'm gonna give you, it will take you less than 10 seconds a day to reverse your decline. If you wanna feel fully satisfied in the bedroom, no more performance issues, no more anxiety no more being ashamed of your body. But let's not jump ahead so fast. I still need to prove to you that real men are becoming extinct. Even physically, men are falling behind. A recent study found that almost half of young men failed the Army's entry-level physical fitness exam during basic training. Fully 70% of American men are now overweight or obese, as compared to 59% of American women. Perhaps most bafflingly and terrifyingly, men seem to be becoming less male fundamentally measurably. Sperm counts, for example, across the West have plummeted. They're down almost 60% since the early 1970s. Scientists don't know why this is. Testosterone levels in men have also fallen precipitously. Let's start with obesity. I think we can all agree that fat people don't live long. I mean, look around you. How many 90-year-olds do you see walking around? How about none? So let's get into the science. This survey, conducted by the National Institutes of Health, shows that obesity has increased from 30% to 43% over the last 18 years. So today, basically half of the US population is obese and more than 70% of men are overweight. But it's not just the US. Scientists have predicted that 60% of British men from the ages of 30 to 80 will be obese by the year 2050. But what exactly causes obesity? What is it inside of a man's body that is responsible for belly fat? Who do we blame for the way we look? Who is at fault here? Well, it's not definitely you or me, but there's something strange going on and we need to fix it. But maybe you're still not convinced. Can we really make the judgment that a man is less manly if he's obese? Can masculinity be reduced to a six pack? Does having a belly, even if you're skinny fat, make you less of a man? So what if obesity increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, which is the number one cause of death in men today? Shown here is the cumulative incidence of heart failure. It shows that the likelihood of heart failure is twice as high when you compare obese men to men with normal weight. So basically, you are twice as likely to die of heart failure if you are obese. But it's not just obesity. Suicide is also increasing amongst men. The overall suicide rate has increased by 30% over the last 20 years. And the rate for males was four times that of females during this time. All right, before we nerd the science even more and I tell you about sperm counts, let me first tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Doc Farhan and I'm a PhD in neuroscience from McGill University. I used to look like this when I had low testosterone and now I look like this after doubling my testosterone. I used to suffer from obesity and depression. I couldn't even get it up, even when I had young, beautiful women in front of me, ready to be taken and ravished. I had no libido, no drive, no confidence. I even contemplated the idea of hurting myself and taking my own life. But fortunately, I'm still here, and I can attribute my transformation to one thing. Just a 10-second addition to my daily routine cured my low T, obesity, and made me feel young again. But that's enough about me. Before I forget, let's talk about one last thing, sperm counts. This study was done by a sperm bank in the US. They showed that sperm counts have been decreasing by 3% per year over the last 25 years. So where are we at? What can we conclude so far? We are fat, suicidal, and our sperm doesn't even work. Now for the culprit. 
Who is at fault here? Who is the real criminal? Is it your diet? Is it how often you go to the gym? Is it how many hours of sleep you get every night? But what one factor inside of your body is responsible for your belly fat, erectile dysfunction, low sperm counts, low libido, low drive, horrible diseases, which eventually leads to suicide. Low testosterone. But you've heard of this word before, testosterone. So what do you think it is? Is it some steroid injections that your doctor puts up your butt? Is it legal? Is it natural? Is it safe? Unfortunately, only a few people in the whole world understand what testosterone really is, and more importantly, what it can actually do for men. So if you're confused or misinformed, don't worry. It's not your fault. Even most doctors don't know what testosterone really is. They're often clueless. And YouTube is filled with garbage information about what this very important male hormone actually is. But before I reveal to you the truth about testosterone and what exactly it is, why should you care? And is testosterone actually declining in men? Is it really the holy grail to help you lose your fat? Is it really the game changer that will make you feel young again? So you can finally perform inside the bedroom and go to the gym, lift as heavy as you want and have fun doing it and gain that happiness back in your life? Is low T keeping you from playing with your kids and your grandkids? Is it really stopping you from living a full life free of dementia and cognitive decline? I'm gonna let some of my colleagues tell you about testosterone first. It's being called a landmark study that could affect millions of men who suffer from low testosterone. Low T, as the ads call it, has been linked to everything from loss of energy, muscle mass, and sexual function to an increased vulnerability to illness. Does that mean that demotivated men are producing less testosterone? Uh, we can say that the, the data show that repeated failures yep. take testosterone levels lower than they would be otherwise. One is called Tongat Ali. Oh yeah, which is, that stuff's real, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, because the, what happens is the testosterone molecule it, it's basically carried in a cargo. So it can be in its free form, unbound form, free testosterone. Tonga Ali, about 400 milligrams per day, has the effect of raising free testosterone and overall testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Your natural testosterone starts dropping at like 35 years old. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling that right now. Yeah. I, mean, I can still fuck, but in terms of like muscle size, yeah, I definitely ain't either. If testosterone is elevated and also estrogen is within balance, then we see cardioprotective effects. We see neuroprotective effects. We see improvements of mood. We see um, whether or not estrogen is present, uh, improvements in hypertrophy and, and uh, physical performance. Everyone's testosterone levels are dropping, so they've reduced the normal range along with it. Even physically, men are falling behind. A recent study found that almost half of young men failed the Army's entry-level physical fitness exam during basic training. Fully 70% of American men are now overweight or obese. Lower testosterone levels in men are associated with depression, lethargy, weight gain, decreased cognitive ability. Nothing like this has ever happened to a population this big. The, the major effect of testosterone is to make effort feel good. So maybe testosterone is a big deal. First and foremost, let's talk about the link between testosterone and obesity. Here's an article that was published very recently in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. The title reads, Obesity is strongly associated with low testosterone and reduced penis growth during development. At each pubertal stage, obese boys have lower testosterone than boys with normal weight. And if you look at the fourth and fifth pubertal stage, there is a direct link between obesity and penis length. Obese boys have smaller penises than those with normal weight. How astonishing is that? It gets even more interesting. Higher T levels are associated with larger penises during development. And the larger the BMI, which is a measure of obesity, the lower the testosterone level. In a nutshell, low T equals obesity. Uh, but this study was done in boys, in kids. We're adults. What does testosterone have to do with adults that are obese? This is a summary of 15 studies that was done in adults linking obesity to testosterone. As you can see, the more you increase your T levels, the more weight you lose. So now you finally understand why everyone's talking about testosterone. Moving on. Does testosterone have anything to do with suicide, with depression, with cognitive decline? And what about sperm counts? Let's start with depression. In this 2015 longitudinal study 
the scientists observed 3,179 men for almost 10 years. The results showed that low testosterone is associated with incidental depression. Here you can see that low T men have a lower chance of surviving. They concluded that low testosterone is associated with depression in this older sample of men. In another study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine in 2015, they showed higher rates of depression in those older men which were borderline low testosterone. And these men had higher rates of obesity, they suffered from erectile dysfunction, they had low libido, low drive, and they even had sleep disturbances. Sounds pretty depressive to me. Again, if you are suffering from any or all of these, the solution is coming very soon. But before I give it to you, let me show you one last thing. What does science say about the link between T levels and sperm quality? Well, let's take a step back. What is the primary hormone responsible for even making sperm? Is it also testosterone? Let's look at one of the studies that confirms the link between testosterone and sperm counts. So here's a paper that was published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. And let's get to the results. Infertile men had significantly lower T levels than fertile men. And due to the lower level of total T in these infertile men, the calculated free T, free testosterone, was also lower in these infertile men. And don't worry, these terms, total testosterone, free testosterone, I'm gonna get into this very soon. Now you have scientific proof that suicide, obesity, low sperm counts, they're all on the rise. And the one hormone responsible for all of this is testosterone. But now that you understand why testosterone is important, you may wonder, what exactly is it? And how is it related to my bedroom performance? Does it affect my muscle gains? What about your libido, your drive, and your sexual appetite? Turns out, T levels are responsible for this as well. Let me show you. We'll start out with erectile dysfunction. There are so many studies linking low testosterone to erectile dysfunction. And this is obviously important because more than half, 52% of men between the ages of 40 and 70 suffer from ED. And this paper is from 2010. You can imagine how high the rates of ED will be today with all the endocrine disruptors in our food, in our environment, and even in our water supply, the excessive masturbation to pornography, the list goes on and on and on. This paper is from 2009, in which they looked at dozens of studies and came to the following conclusion. Low testosterone leads to erectile dysfunction. In another paper shown here, and here I'm gonna just read the abstract very simply. Increased ED severity was significantly associated with low T levels. And the authors concluded that, and I quote, a low T level had the primary effect on erectile dysfunction. As you can see, there are hundreds of studies that link low T to sexual dysfunction in the bedroom. But it doesn't just stop there. Low testosterone is also the reason for loss of libido, loss of sexual desire and appetite for your girl, your wife, your girlfriend, your woman. It even increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, which is the number one cause of death in men today. But before I tell you how I transformed, how I overcame my erectile dysfunction and became a beast in the bedroom with full power and control. Let me tell you one thing. You might be wondering how testosterone is linked to muscle gains. And more importantly, how does testosterone actually help build muscle? Well, that's the easiest of them all. Over the last five decades, we've been working this out and we know exactly the cellular and molecular mechanisms involved in how testosterone builds muscle. Let me show you. It's quite straightforward. Testosterone binds to androgen receptors on different types of muscle cells to cause muscular hypertrophy. Testosterone simply makes muscles bigger. It's crystal clear. Low T men cannot grow muscle because you need testosterone to build muscle. All right, so how did I personally solve my low T issues? Well, not only did I overcome low T, but I doubled my testosterone levels. My total testosterone, my free testosterone, and my bioavailable testosterone. My testosterone levels used to be that of an 82 year old man. They were 376 nanograms per deciliter. Today, it's 801 nanograms per deciliter. Now, I'm in the top 1% testosterone of all men. But I'm just getting started. And guess what? I did it 100% naturally. Zero side effects, 100% safe. Hey, listen, this is important. Naturally, 100% naturally. Most men today are using TRT and injecting testosterone up their butt, not natural. TRT is synthetic. It's dangerous. 
It has tons of side effects, which I'm going to get into very soon. I stayed 100% natural the entire round. No TRT. So let me tell you what I did. What is this ancient secret ingredient that I've been hinting at? And how can you get your strength and youth back in less than 10 seconds a day? This secret is known as Tonkat Ali. Now, if you've been doing your research, you've already heard of this herb. But sadly, 99% of Tonkat Ali does not work because there's only one place in the whole world with high quality Tonkat Ali. And only the local natives know about it. But soon enough, I'm gonna tell you how I discovered this and found the farmers and natives who can actually get the herb. If you've never heard of Tonkat Ali, you're not alone. You see, Big Pharma doesn't want you to know about Tonkat Ali because it's the TRT killer. TRT is what Big Pharma wants you to take. So you become dependent on it and they make billions of dollars. TRT is testosterone replacement therapy. This is when they inject testosterone up your butt or rub some nasty testosterone gel on your chest. That's the dangerous route and it doesn't even work. It's led by incompetent scam doctors who try to take money from as many men as they can. With TRT, you can develop gynecomastia or man boobs as well as testicular atrophy, which basically means with TRT, your balls will shrink. We stay away from that poison. We stick to 100% natural and safe ingredients. That's where Tonkat Ali comes into the picture. You see, this natural super herb, yes, super herb, increases testosterone at its source. On the other hand, with TRT, you are actually injecting testosterone into your body, which will stop the natural production. To understand why, you have to first get how testosterone is actually produced. First, in the hypothalamus, which releases a hormone. That hormone travels to the pituitary gland, which releases another hormone known as luteinizing hormone or LH. And this hormone, LH, travels to the testes. It binds to the Leydig cells inside the testes, which release testosterone. So what we want is to trigger the synthesis of testosterone from the source, just like your body is doing. It's nature, it's natural, it's evolution. It's how we need to do it. But with TRT, you are not doing any of that. You are literally injecting testosterone into your butt with TRT. Nah, so what? Why is that? With TRT, when you inject testosterone into your blood, that exogenous testosterone tells your brain through a negative feedback loop to stop the synthesis of testosterone from the source. What's even worse is that TRT triggers the synthesis of other bad hormones, which will give you man boobs. And because TRT is stopping natural production, the Leydig cells in your testes, which actually produce testosterone, are no longer active. So they deteriorate and hence your balls shrink. TRT is our enemy. What we do is take Tonkat Ali because it has been taken for thousands of years to boost T levels. It's grown in the rainforests of Malaysia. They've tried to keep this secret from the West, but I'm here to let it out. We need men to be men again. No more suffering, no more low T. But how did I find the source of Tonkat Ali that works? And why was I so motivated to find it? You see, when I was suffering from low T, I was at the peak of my academic life. I was the top student in my PhD class and I was publishing papers in top neuroscience journals, including PNAS, the Journal of Neuroscience and the Journal of Neurophysiology. But I had zero confidence with women. Even when I somehow managed to bring a beautiful girl home, I couldn't get it up. I had no desire, no confidence, no drive for women. I was fat. I couldn't even grow muscle at the gym. The low T was making me depressed and suicidal. So I did what any scientist would do. I read, I literally went through thousands of textbooks, research papers, and talked to hundreds of experts. This allowed me to understand the medical theory of men's health, but there weren't any answers. Every doctor I talked to was talking about injections and more injections. I had to do something else. That is when I started consulting with holistic medicine doctors, with naturopaths, with functional medicine practitioners. You know, like those gurus of ancient herbs, those hippie types that I sort of disrespected in the past. You see, I come from the progeny of hardcore scientists. My scientific grandfather, Dr. David Hubel, won the Nobel Prize for medicine in 1981. He was at Harvard Medical School. So while we would chat in our academic circles, we would make fun of hippies. You know, these uh, doctor naturopaths. But I was desperate. I had to turn every stone. 
So after two years of talking to hundreds of these hippies about male enhancement and vitality, I got lucky. One of these hippies, crazy dude, I'm gonna give him the pseudonym Brady to protect his identity. He told me about an ancient herb that he had been taking for years and he swore me to secrecy. You see, Brady and I went way back. I had contacted him at the very beginning, two years earlier, when I had started doing my research. So over those span of two years, we became very good friends. But Brady had been researching herbs for 20 years. He had literally tried thousands of herbs. I tried 32. He had tried thousands. He was the encyclopedia of all this hippie terminology. And today, he is considered one of the world's experts in ancient herbs. I was lucky to find him at the right time. I owe everything to him. He's the one who introduced me to the one farmer in Malaysia who had the Tonkata Lee that he was taking. And that Tonkata Lee is 100% safe. And five years ago, I contacted the farmer in Malaysia and got myself a sample of Tonkata Lee. And I still remember that day. I got Tonkata Lee in the mail. It was powder form. I opened it. I took a, a teaspoon of it. It was the most disgusting and nasty thing in the world. But that was the day that changed my life forever. This Tonkata Lee is the secret that they don't want you to know. But what happened exactly to me five years ago when I first took it? After just five days, I had morning wood. I hadn't experienced morning wood in over 10 years, but I got it back. And I've been experiencing morning wood every morning for the last five years. There are now 15 clinical trials that show that Tonkata Lee increases total testosterone, free testosterone, and bioavailable testosterone. But I still wasn't finished. I was greedy. I had morning wood, but I wanted more. You see, I was getting good results, but I wasn't fully happy with the blood flow that I was experiencing with my women inside the bedroom. I needed something to boost nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is the hormone that triggers blood flow inside the bedroom as well as in the gym when you're lifting weights. It serves as sort of a testosterone sidekick. Tonkata Lee by itself is never enough. So I added the best herb in the world to boost nitric oxide production as that sidekick to Tonkata Lee. This herb is known as Shizandra Berry. I got it from the only farm in the US that gives certified organic Shizandra Berry and I started taking it. You see, Shizandra was one of those 32 herbs I had tried in the past during my research, but it didn't do anything on its own. It had to work synergistically with Tonkata Lee. So now I started playing around with different dosages, concentrations, and ratios of Tonkata Lee and Shizandra Berry together. It took me a couple of weeks to realize that no matter what ratios I used, the effect lasted for a couple of hours, but then it kind of died away. I realized that I needed something to make the herbs more bioavailable, to make them better digest inside of my body so the nutrients can be fully absorbed, so the effects would last all day and night. So I went back to the books. What was that ancient herb that the natives have been using for thousands of years to help with digestion and absorption, as well as liver and kidney function? Hu Shu Wu, that's the herb. And when I added Hu Shu Wu into the mix, I was experiencing energy all day long. My bedroom performance was better than ever. I could go for hours instead of minutes. I was finally beginning to see that six pack. The fat was melting away. I couldn't believe how healthy and fit I was becoming. The depression was gone. My brain was working better than ever. I was mentally sharp again. I started enjoying life again and my romantic relationships were on fire. But there was one last issue. Tonkata Lee, Shizandra Berry, and Hu Shu Wu were not enough. I had to fix one last thing, sleep. You see, I was so energetic and driven from these three herbs that I was feeling too much energy, too much libido a bit aggressive, you know? Now the game became challenging again. How could I balance this formula? What could I add to the formula to become calm and collected instead of loud and aggressive? Solving this problem took another few months. I went back to my notes again and of course I consulted Brady. This was a hard one and I was honestly stumped. What could have enough calming and cooling properties to balance the potent and strong effects of Tonkata Lee, Shizandra Berry, and Hushu Wu? I finally found it, pearl powder. You see, I had heard of pearl powder in the past during my research because it has usually been used for beauty to improve skin health, but it had this added property of cooling and calming and making us sleep better. It has even been shown to cure insomnia in some cases. That was exactly what I was looking for. So fingers crossed, I added 
pearl powder to the mix of Tonkat, Shizandra, and Hushuwu. And again, I got extremely lucky. It worked. Not only was I feeling strong and youthful, but I was sleeping like a baby. And that is perfect because testosterone production happens during sleep in the REM cycle of sleep. So that was perfect. The formula was so good. And even though the devil inside me wanted to keep this formula to myself and let everyone else suffer, I decided to share it with 15 of my closest friends and colleagues. They were blown away. All 15 of them wanted more and they wanted it now. They were feeling this renewed vitality and strength. Even those that already had high testosterone levels, they were feeling even better. I was onto something, so I decided to share the formula with the entire world. The correct ratios of Tonkat Ali, Shizandra Berry, Hushu Wu, and Pearl Powder. All of that inside this bottle, this black bottle with the white bull. And I named it Afro D. Afro D is being used by over 50,000 men today in more than 100 countries. And the principal ingredient, as you may have guessed it, Tonkat Ali. The Tonkat Ali we use comes from the rainforests of Malaysia. This rainforest has existed for 130 million years. It is one of the oldest rainforests in the world. It is older than the Congo and the Amazon in Brazil. Studies have shown that Tonkat Ali increases testosterone by 37% in just four weeks. And as a bonus, Tonkat Ali also decreases cortisol, which is the stress hormone, by 16%. But it's not just total testosterone here. Tonkat Ali also significantly increases free testosterone by 34% in just two weeks. How incredible is this? Now you may be wondering, is Afro D just a magic pill? Let me assure you, it's not. It's simply the highest quality, 100% safe and most effective super herbs in the world. Not just herbs, super herbs. 100% natural, made right here in the USA in our FDA registered facility. This is the gold standard for quality control. Afro D has completely changed my life, but it has also transformed the lives of over 50,000 men in the world. Take a look for yourself. Hey guys, I want to talk with you about the best supplement I've ever used, Afro D. Coach T, Rick Tomberman here, and I've been powering up with Afro D every morning for several months now. I feel like it increases my energy, it's increased my lean muscle mass, giving me greater strength. I've never taken TRT, never taken steroids, never taken uh, SARMs, just solid steel sex appeal. 100% pure He-Man. I'm 65 years old. If it'll work for me, it'll work for you. Like I said, power up, just like Coach T. I'm here to talk about this product right here, Afro D. Six months ago, I came across an advertisement for this and I just assumed it was, you know, some baloney product that, uh, you know, that enhances testosterone. It's four, uh, can, four ingredients that are completely unique to any other product that's on the market. This product comes with a 365 day money back guarantee. Within four weeks, of taking this product, I had, I was pushing weight that I was pushing in my 20s. And I had only been going to the gym for like maybe six weeks. I love this product. I'm gonna be, I'm 100% a believer in this product. And since then, I've been taking this product now for four months. I'm more driven in life. I have, I feel like, I feel more masculine and more like, more um, inspired to better myself on a regular basis. This product changed my life. My sexual health is amazing. Uh, my, like, no, no problems in that area at all. If you're a man, you should be taking this product. End of story. I don't want to call it a miracle pill, because, but it kind of is. <laughs> like, it's kind of a miracle pill. It does, it's like masculinity in a bottle. It's amazing. If not, now when? If I were you, I would get this product. My name is Sergio. Sergio Garcia. I've been taking Afro D for like almost a year now. Did notice that, you know, I was waking up with energy, other stuff in the morning too, in the morning, <laughs> which is a, a good side effect for uh, my wife. I was feeling young and I was heading to the gym and, you know, I could feel like, hey, I could do it. I was starting to feel like I'm 21 again. 
I feel these did change my life. They still gave me uh, natural energy. I highly recommend this for every single guy out there that wants to feel young again, get that natural energy in the morning when you wake up. We'll get that wood in the morning. Doc, thank you for the nation of Afro D. Hey, what's up there, Afro D Nation? I'm Shane. Started taking Afro D May 8th of 2021. Before I started taking Afro D, uh, I was a fat 100 pound plus sad, depressed, alcoholic insomniac. Right from the get go of taking that for me from day one, um, for me personally, I started feeling increased energy, drive, confidence, determination, all that stuff, which all helped me lose my 100 plus pounds of weight in seven days. And I knew right then and there that uh, I'm never going to drink alcohol again. You know, as far as my transformation goes, uh, since taking out for a day, like I said, I lost 100 plus pounds. Brain clarity, increased energy, drive, confidence, better blood flow, and for that sex drive of yours, you know, after a day seriously makes me feel 20 years younger, without a doubt. I want to thank everybody in after a day, especially Doc, for making this all possible and creating what I think is the holy grail of all supplements. Hey, it's David saying hello from Denver, Colorado. I've been a member of the Afro D tribe for about four and a half years. I do uh, hiking and backcountry skiing in the winter and rock climbing in the summer. And these pursuits are fueled by Afro D. Uh, I believe the product has something to do with me being motivated to do more athletic stuff, and then having the energy to do it all day. Performance in the bedroom has been excellent at 57 years old, and that's how old I am. Afro D has really helped me to maintain uh, youth and virility, and just do all the athletic stuff that I want to do. I've been taking Afro D. I've been on it nearly two years now. I've noticed quite a few changes, quite a lot of changes in my physique and my overall fitness. Major improve. I couldn't get any better than that, eh? 57, I'm looking like this. Afro D to me, that's it. I recommend it to anybody. Anybody who wants to change yourself for the better. So far, my journey without Afro D, um, I'm on my second bottle now. Achieved a lot taking Afro D and. Uh, everything i've noticed a major difference in myself confidence my workouts sleep i love afro d happy one year anniversary to me i got my new order thank you doctor. it does work and and many more years to come for me many many more years to come it is amazing you will love it the same way i love it i love it everything delivers focus energy i take it something early as 4 30 in the morning 5 in the morning and it gets me going through the whole day and yes it works in the special department you know what so i started at 536 and now just of last year i tested and got 990 total testosterone this product my dude is afro d this has been the game changer for me as well as many of my clients i see people doubling their testosterone levels just about all the time if not getting the benefits like increased focus increased confidence drive to actually do things and accomplish things out in the real world i take it every morning four capsules first thing with a glass of water that's it man that's all you got to do when i did my test in october of 2020 my free testosterone was way lower so i actually doubled my free testosterone over a year and i halved my sex hormone binding globulin and that was just from taking afro decap i took this once a day four capsules and then i was able to actually see the results on my blood test get yourself some d if you really want to take your health to the next level naturally afro d this product is is pretty much amazing it's four natural ingredients many 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 years past my 20s my muscle tone has improved it's and this is like you can the the tightness the firmness the tone itself is better than when i was 20 years old obviously enhances your ability to build muscle it took two months for me to realize the growth and the tone that was being improved endurance my strength my ability to do more exercises has improved dramatically being 70 years old my uh testosterone levels they went from the mid 300s to 742. I've been taking the supplement for a couple of years now, and I can say hands down, this is one of the best supplements I've ever tried. Afro D has four main ingredients, and I've noticed that all these ingredients are of high quality and high purity and potency. For me personally, I've noticed from taking Afro D every day, I've noticed increased confidence, clarity, productivity, and energy. 
So I would say if you want to increase your masculinity and testosterone, give Afro-D a try. Came across this product, Afro-D, which uh, I've been taking for about three months now. Can definitely say that my energy levels have increased. I feel stronger. I feel healthier. I feel more motivated. But my levels are now at around 25.5 nanomoles per litre, which, looking at the charts, gives me a testosterone level, which is roughly around the average for a 20-year-old. Definitely say that this stuff has helped me out big time. In short, what I have come to discover in the 30 days that I've taken it, the man downstairs is good to go like three times a day. The second now that's showing up in the gym is my strength has increased like a lot. I was pushing weights that I was pushing when I was 20 years old. It works, it just does. It's 100% worth the money. You should get it, every man should be taking this shit. I get morning wood, afternoon wood, evening wood, in the middle of the night, midnight wood, whatever. Anthony here, I've taken Afro D, you know, on and off, pretty inconsistently to be honest since mid 2020 but i've noticed it definitely increases the blood flow definitely gives me a little bit of a boost my focus really goes up when i take this i feel a lot more dialed in and that in return helps me get a better workout sleep is definitely better when i take this riley here and i wanted to record this quick video to give you guys my true testimony of afro d over the last three plus years of using it I've been able to double my testosterone when I first started using it within about 10 to 12 months. I doubled my testosterone and my levels be before were that of a seven year old man. I mean, they were just so low. It was really Afro D that brought my testosterone to a whole other level. I was able to gain 15 pounds of lean muscle mass, so much more just in terms of libido, in terms of muscle mass, in terms of just how I feel in the day, confidence, ready to kill it every single day. Everything that's inside of there, you have the tongue catalyst. By taking our Afro D, what's gonna happen is we're gonna lower our our stress from the adaptogens inside. We're going to increase our testosterone, which is further going to um, promote better sleep. Deeper sleep, we get higher release of uh, human growth hormone. Uh, we can recover faster. There's just so many benefits to all of it. Hey guys, my name's Josh McDonald. This supplement, it's called Afro Day. I've been using for two years now. I've found it to be very helpful with mental clarity, uh, motivation, drive to train or just crush everyday life. If you mess with the bull, You'll get the point. This stuff, guys, it works. Does it work? Heck yeah. Testosterone was 679, total T when I first started. Now it's about 985 nanograms per deciliter. Here it is right here. I take four of these a day. Um, I started taking them around March 2020, so it's been almost two years now. I don't know how clearly you can see that. There you go. So I'm at a 1239 total testosterone, 150 free testosterone, which I've been told is incredibly high. Once I started taking it, I just felt like my drive, my ambition, um, I refuse to lose. I don't care how hard it got taking Afro D, taking these beautiful herbs, be taking this stuff forever to the day I die. The thing that has supported me for over two years now has been Afro D. I'm not nearly as fatigued. I'm able to maintain my muscle mass just as quickly, even as an endurance athlete. And most importantly, my fiance uh, loves the energy and the stamina that I also am able to maintain. This is why Afro D has become the number one testosterone booster for men in the world. It just works. From doctors, to fitness coaches, to professional athletes, and thousands of men all around the world. They all start their morning with Afro D. But don't take our word for it. Do your own research about Afro D and try it for yourself. We offer a 365 day guarantee. So if you're not 100% completely satisfied with Afro D, you get all of your money back. No other supplement company offers a 365 day money back guarantee. We do. That is how confident we are with Afro D. Afro D is the safest and most affordable way to boost your T levels, to get that performance in the bedroom back, to lose the stubborn belly fat, and to increase muscle all at once. Afro D has helped thousands of men, and now it's your turn. Click through to learn more, and you too can experience life changing results with Afro D.